Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, friggin' Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we got a steering wheel for the old Easy Go TXT. And we got a new horn for the TXT, which should have been under warranty. Their golf cart superstore. But I didn't really actually ask you about it. But we got a steel one this time. So instead of sounding like this, it's gonna actually sound real, maybe. We'll have to freaking see. I picked up one of these steering wheels. It's got the center beep, 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 but I don't think I'm gonna use the center beep, beep, beep because I'm pretty sure I need more adapters for that. I'm almost positive I need more adapters for that actually, so we're not even gonna use that. But look at that, there it is. It comes with the adapter plate and it was a hundred bucks. Can't really go wrong. Well, you can go wrong, but not all the time. So we're gonna take this apart and we're gonna take this nut off and I'm probably gonna have to go get an actual socket for this nut. I don't have one that fits, I don't think. But we're gonna find out here. But we'll take this off anyway. Hey, maybe, hey, maybe. Oh, I got that tight cap. How come I got that so tight? How'd I do that? So tight. Oh no, too tight. Oh, dick. There she goes. So we'll take this nut off. I really not have a socket that fits that. We're gonna have to look for one after. Careful. Care. Okay, what the f is going on here? Oh, yeah. There we go. So that nut's off. So let's see if we can't find a socket for that nut. Okay, so I found a socket for it, and it is 13 sixteenths. Now we got to get the steering wheel off, which I know that I got on there real good right now. Real good. There it goes. Decent. So now that's off, we get a weapon. I'm gonna have to fix this too, cause this keeps turning. Oh, it's a whole pole turning. What the hell is really going on, Jim? That must be threaded in. Let's get a pipe on there. He did that Titan job. I got the signals on and everything here. Hopefully that this doesn't turn the steering. We're gonna find out right now. Careful. No, it does not. Oh, it is tightening in. She tightens up like a friggin' pipe, Jim. There we go. Decent. I wonder why that wasn't staying where I wanted to stay. It's because the pipe kept turning. So there we go, that's on. So now what we need to do is we need to install, I'm all dirty now. We need to install the extension doodad or the adapter doodad. But we gotta figure out where the bolt holes need to be. If we go straight up, hold on a second here, Captain. That one's, that one, that one, that one, and that one. This hole needs to be straight up and down, which is right about there. There she is. So now all we can do is put the nut back on. Hey, look, we can move that up now too. That's pretty awesome. Tighten this bad boy. Don't need an extension. There we go. And then we gotta take the Allen key that come with this, wherever the hell it went. Okay, here it is right here. And we uh, do that with it because I'm not into Allen keys because they suck ass. So we'll find the right one for this. Nope. Oh, it's a metric. What do I do with that Allen key? There it is. What's really going on? Nothing ever works the way you want it to anymore. Everything's always cocked right over. No, okay, so we need that Allen key I threw away. I found it, here it is. So we'll undo these, perfect. Actually, we can probably just pull this right off. Maybe, yep, we can. Pull this right off, we'll put this one back in the hole, and we'll uh, slap her on. Captain? Oh yeah. There's one, two. She's a six bolt. Have an eye. Excalibur. Steering wheel. Frig. Look out, Scout. Nothing like an Excalibur steering wheel. Well, that's a good Allen key. The Allen key he sent with you doesn't even fit right. <laughs> oh my God, it's stripped. What the hell? So the Allen key itself stripped out already. Just from trying to tighten the damn thing. So that goes to show you everything. And I mean everything is junk, Captain. I happen to have an Allen key set here, but I don't like these things because they're always too damn big. All right, so there we go. That was easy. Check out that steering wheel, Captain. That looks friggin' decent. Oh, dick. So now we can actually slide the control modules up, which are right here. But we're gonna have to loosen them, I think. <laughs> Get that cover off and we'll bring them off. There's one side, there's two sides. Loosen clamp, there's a clamp, bring up. Right to there. Tighten clamp. There we go. Slide up bar and snap on cover. And there we go, Captain. 
So now that's up nice and tight. The steering wheel is mounted and hopefully it's in the right spot. If it's not, don't care. Now we're gonna go on to install the freaking horn. We get a horn that don't work, or it works, but it just sounds really shitty. So we gotta take that off and put on a better horn. Now the only thing is, I don't know where that's gonna put you. Let me try clamping you like this. You're gonna be all sideways and cocked over, but hey, it is what it is, it is. Can you see? Probably not. Well, you should be able to if I can, though. So first thing we'll do is unplug it. Second thing we'll do is unscrew it, which is kind of in a really shitty spot. Oh, that's tightening, hold on. Let's go this way. Well, thank God this new horn I just bought is actually a sealed unit. So it actually should be better for in here. So of course it's turning. Oh God, why wouldn't it be? So just so everybody knows, there's nothing I hate more actually than putting something brand new on that you have to replace because it's fucking garbage, which is a normal occurrence anymore. I did get new bearings in my truck. I ended up doing them myself at work and the ones I ended up putting on were pretty much double the price. So that ended up costing me another $365 for better bearings. So if you're planning on putting bearings into your yeah, cackler, don't waste your money. Spend the extra and do it once. If you don't, you'll be doing it twice like I was. And that is a fact. That horn is not fun to get out of there. I'll tell you that right now. I put it in there to stay in there. There we go. So that's out. So now we gotta try to get the new one in there and make sure it's not in the damn way of the steering mechanism. So actually we need to put a bolt in that and bring it over like this. And that will keep it out of the way more. That means we gotta put two fucking bolts in. This just sucks assholes. That probably means my wiring's not long enough. Yeah, it might be. So let's get a nut and a bolt and put it in there and move it over. Now I'm thinking the chance of this nut and bolt fitting through that bracket is probably not gonna happen. Nope, not even close. Totally wasted my time putting that in. So we're gonna have to relocate the horn now too. Oh God, which is okay because that way it's nowhere near the steering. Let's put it up here. Yeah, I'll put it up here. So we'll get a stab locked up to here somehow. Can you see? Probably not, because I can't. You're right in my way. It's more important for you to see than me. So I'm just going to leave you there. I don't think I can go that way. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped everything. It's all gone. Everything's gone. All of it. What am I going to do? So you're telling me that one won't even go through that hole? Why? Why? Hey, why? So I'm going to have to drill that hole out bigger. And there's no way I'm going to get a drill in there. Oh, that's an actual threaded f***ing hole. Captain? I wonder if that will actually thread into that. I doubt it. It's probably a metric thread. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go in there. Freak. Unreal. I quit. You think putting a horn on a golf cart would be easier than shit? What's really going on? All you can do is suck it up and keep trying. You couldn't just drill that over here. You couldn't put the hole over here. You had to put it right in front of the shock. You just couldn't even move it over just a little bit. Why would you? So we're moving on past that experience. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a smaller one in. It will work, I think. Hold on. I don't know how you hold your tongue, Captain. So there we go, that's in. But will it stay in is the next question, which I doubt, because we're gonna try to get a washer, nut, everything else on this damn thing. Oh God. I know what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna lose my shit on this. I can feel it coming. All right, so that's on. Washer's on, lock nut's on. And I'll just start the nut. It's gonna be the next one. Oh yeah, I just lost her. Much, much later. Okay, so after a long, painful, tedious, friggin' horn installation, we got her to work. And let me tell you what, that is one loud friggin' little horn. And I end up using the original bracket and put it over there because I just couldn't get my hands anywhere else. So there you go. Installed, good friggin' enough. Friggin' right it is. I'm gonna go in and eat because mom just calling for dinner. I'm friggin' hungry. So hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. Not doing anything I ain't doing. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you like more golf cart stuff. But this thing's pretty much wrapped up. There's not much left to do. As you see in the videos, I pretty much got her whipped, Captain. And I'm pretty much friggin' whipped, Jim. We gotta get another golf cart soon. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Love y'all. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. And you know what to do for now.